In this video, we will create a Kinesis data fire hose delivery stream. We will use the Kinesis data generator to generate data and send it to the Kinesis fire hose delivery stream. Then we will set up a Kinesis data fire hose to publish the data to the Redshift. After you hand the data in Redshift, you can follow the other videos on data visualization and prediction. There are several ways to send the simulated data to Kinesis Firehose, but I found out the Kinesis Data Generator provides the flexibility to configure the data. The KDG can generate records using the random data based on a template you provide. You can read the details in this website. Click Create a Cognito User with the CloudFormation. The stack will be generated on the US West 2 region. Enter a username and a password for Cognito User. You will use this username and password to log in KDG. Keep everything else as default. Check I acknowledge that AWS CloudFormation might create IAM resource. Click Create button. When the stack is completed, Select this stack. You can review the resource detail on the Outputs tab. Copy this URL. Then open with this URL. Enter the username and the password Logging into the KDJ. Here is the data template. The generator will simulate the device temperature sensor data and send it to the Kinesis Firehose delivery stream. Let's create a Kinesis Firehose delivery stream. Go to Kinesis Console. Make sure you are on the US West 2 region. Click Get Started button. Click Create Delivery Stream button. Enter Delivery Stream Name Demo. Keep everything else as default. Click Next button. Select Redshift as the destination. In the file host to Redshift data flow overview, you can see Kinesis data file host published the records to S3 as the intermediary step. Then use the copy command copy data into Redshift. If you don't have a Redshift cluster, click Create New. Then enter the cluster identify, database name, master username, master use password. To simplify this demo, we configure Redshift cluster under the default VPC and use the default VPC security group. Select the IAM rule My Redshift we created before. Click Continue button. Please make sure you are OK with the charge from AWS before you continue this demo. Click Launch Cluster button. Query Editor is a new feature at this video time. We will use the Query Editor to create a table letter. During the cluster creating time, Let's go back to Kinesis Firehost Delivery Stream to configure the Redshift information. 
Refresh the Redshift cluster. Select the Redshift cluster we just created. Enter the username, password, database name, and a table name. We will create this table after the cluster is available. If you don't have the intermediate S3 bucket, you can click Create New. Then go to the S3 bucket, upload the JSON file. This JSON file is for Redshift copy command using JSON path expression to read the data from S3, then load the data into Redshift. JSON path expression is out of the scope of this video. It matches the data template in the KDG. The Redshift cluster is available now. Refresh again. We can choose this cluster now. Let's create a demo table by using Query Editor. Enter database name, username, and password. Click the Connect button. Enter Create a Table Query. The fields in the table also match the data template in the KDG. The table is created. Let's run Select Query. There is a no record in the table. Now go back to Kinesis file host delivery stream configuration. Set up a copy option by using JSON path file. Click Next button. For this demo, we'll set up a buffer size with 1 MB, buffer interview with 100 seconds, create a new IAM rule, click Allow for the file host to read and, and write access, click Next button. Review all the configurations. Click Create a Delivery Stream. When the delivery stream is ready, go back to the KDG. In KDG, select Region US West 2. Select a Delivery Stream Demo. Click Send Data button. Then click Stop Sending Data to Kinesis. Now go to the Redshift, run the Select Query again. You can see all the records in the Redshift. After you've done this test, you need to clean up the resources to avoid any further AWS charge. Go to Redshift, select the cluster, then delete the cluster. Click the Delete button. Go to the Kinesis file host. Select the Delivery Stream. Click the Delete button. If your account is not a free tier account, you also need to remove S3 bucket. Mm -hmm.